Well, um, the, the board set out at the outset that um, they, uh, as a new CEO, they certainly wanted somebody obviously with broadcasting experience. Um, and aside from that, there's a very important role that the CEO undertakes as uh, editor in chief. Um, so also having a good coming from a good journalistic background uh, was also something that the board was very eager to find a candidate that had that um, in their in their CV. Um, so so in that respect, um, you know, I, I could certainly say that um, James um, ticked all the boxes uh, for us in terms of the candidate that had the broadcasting background, the journalistic background. Um, he would also has experience not just of working at GBC but also working in the UK. Um, so his, his CV spoke volumes of, of his experience, uh, which is you know, delight of the board that, you know, when we did receive his, his, his application and the fact that we were then able to agree terms for him for, for, his, for his appointment. Let me just say that, I mean, James is not just a, um, I mean, he's an outstanding broadcasting professional. And we don't just say because he's, he's, he's Gibraltarian. I mean, he is highly regarded in the UK. So I, we are really lucky to have secured his services as a future, um, as a next CEO for GBC. And hence the board are delighted with it. Can you tell us anything about the terms of that appointment and how do they compare with the previous CEO? Well, Ros, I, I can't go into detail uh, into the contract because it is a, a, a private agreement. Um, what, I, what I can tell you um, is that uh, in line with other CEO appointments in Gibraltar, it is a fixed term contract for three years, um, but which of course, if the parties agree, it can be renewed. Uh, but what the board were, were very eager to do was make sure that the, the CEO was accountable to the board, um, that it was not a lifetime appointment you know, for somebody up until their retirement. Um, the board were eager to put a, uh, a, a contract in place that made the CEO um, accountable to the board. So the, the, the board will set his objectives every year at the start of, at the start of each year and uh, he will be uh, his performance throughout the year will be measured against those objectives that are that are set for him well james niche starts in october that's quite some way away what happens in the meantime again we've been very fortunate that we've had um, paula paula latin act you know in the in the role as acting ceo and she's doing a great job and i'm very grateful to her for for everything she's been doing and she will continue in that role for you know for the foreseeable future and in, and in any case we also have other heads of department who can also step in uh, to support uh, Paula uh, if, if, if needed. Um, so that, that is not uh, a problem we, we um, envisage uh, being an issue. I mean our concern was to get, find the right candidate and I find that in James Niche we definitely have and if we have to wait till the 3rd of October we will, we will, um, that will not be a problem for us. You said that the new CEO shares the board's vision for GBC, but what is that vision? GBC is a public service broadcaster, so uh, our, you know, certainly our mission is to focus on the community that we serve, and that is our, our you know, our prime, uh, our prime and, and, and really sole ob objective. Um, so uh, when we talk about um, the vision, what we want to really embark upon is a process that we ensure we're meeting the expectations of all our stakeholders. And, um, you know, so we will be undertaking, um, the, C the new CEO will be undertaking audience and community surveys to ensure we're delivering on what they expect and what they want. Uh, and we will be adjusting our, our, um, our processes and our, our, our programming, you know, in line with what the feedback that we get. Now, of course, we have our views on how we think things could be improved, but we don't want to preempt the results of the stakeholder feedback, which is a very important part of that process to determine what ultimate, what changes uh, there, there are likely to be. So the new CEO has been tasked by the board to undertake a review of all aspects of GBC, including undertaking audience community surveys. So can you just explain what your thinking is there? Um, Ros, I mean, I think um, 
th there's been, over the past um, four years, maybe even longer, there's been such a focus on delivering, on, uh, on delivering of this new broadcasting house that I think the time has come for us to, to take a, a more in-depth view uh, look into how GBC delivers on all its um, different services. So that's, you know, TV, radio, and news. So the board was very eager to ensure that the new CEO undertakes a review of each of these departments and, and make sure that we are um, delivering efficiently uh, precisely on what our, our, um, our stakeholders want. Um, and what that will also include is undertaking a series of audience surveys, community surveys, general stakeholder surveys to ensure that we deliver on what uh, our stakeholders want uh, and then combine that with an in-depth view, an in-depth review of all our services to ensure that we can deliver on that and deliver it in an efficient manner. And what's the time frame of these surveys and when can we expect to see some changes? Timing is always difficult to predict but certainly the surveys will be done, um, um, some simpler, the simpler forms of surveys will be done very early on in the first three months, uh, some more in-depth surveys will be taking up to six months to do. Um, we expect the changes will take, um, you know, uh, it, it, this is not a simple change process. We expect the changes to take up to three years. Um, but we hope that, you know, this will be, uh, take GBC on to uh, the next, uh, uh, on to the next uh, sort of generation where, where we'd like GBC to be. Finally, as chairman of the board, you are said to have led the recruitment process, but what's the role of the board over the next few months and going forward, in particular yourself as chairman? Well, the, road, the role of the board is really to um, set out the objectives for the CEO, as, as, I, as I've said. Um, but really, you know, the board delegates its powers to the, to the CEO and then lets the CEO and the management team get on with it. Uh, what the board will be is there on hand to support, to provide support, um, but also to challenge uh, the CEO and the management team when, if it does not feel things are going according to plan. Um, I'm delighted I've got brilliant uh, board members working alongside me uh, who are all very active and, and keen to be involved in seeing improvements to GBC um, follow through.